Welcome to GRASFI 2020, the third annual conference of the Global Research Alliance for Sustainable Finance and Investment. I'm Ben Caldercott from Oxford University and one of the founders of GRASFI. I'm also its co-chair, together with Professor Rob Bauer. As a result of the pandemic, the board, together with Columbia University, this year's host member university, agreed to move to a fully online conference for the very first time. I really want to commend the team at Columbia for putting this together and for your willingness to participate remotely. Welcome to this virtual conference. Before we get going, I wanted to take this opportunity to tell you a bit more about the Alliance. Um, we were founded in 2017. We now have 27 member universities representing a wide range of global and regional research universities. Our rationale and theory of change are simple. Uh, there is a huge amount of interest that you'll all be aware of from practitioners, policymakers, financial regulators and civil society in sustainable finance and investment. Yet academic research hasn't kept up and is often failing to set the pace for the evolution of sustainable finance, both in theory and practice. Furthermore, we don't have enough major research projects or substantial research collaborations across universities. There are very few academic conferences and forums for researchers. We lack journals. There's been also generally a lack of interest from established journals. That's historically been the case. And there are too few courses available from executive education to taught masters to PhD programmes and PhD places. In short, I don't think we're a fully established field, although we're making rapid progress, and the Alliance is all about making that happen as quickly as possible. Each of our member universities is undertaking work on sustainable finance in various ways. That's incredibly exciting. I can't run through all of the activities and our future plans, but here are two things I wanted to highlight. Firstly, we've established formal partnerships with two peer networks, the first of which is the Central Banks and Supervisors Network for Greening the Financial System, the NGFS, which now has over 60 members internationally. We're one of two NGFS global research stakeholders, and that means we can work closely with NGFS members and the Secretariat to disseminate research, create new research, and provide training and capacity building. The other is the One Planet Sovereign Wealth Fund Working Group, where we're doing something very similar with the new One Planet Sovereign Wealth Fund Research Forum designed to support its members, um, and also a related asset manager network that links into that network. Um, the second thing is that we have created a new online course catalogue showcasing all the courses that Grassby member universities are offering to help match supply with demand. This is now online on our new website, sustainablefinancealliance.org. Now, we decided early on that the top priority must be to deliver a high quality international academic conference annually, the go-to conference for researchers in our emerging field. Um, there are already many practitioner-focused conferences with academic researchers present, but very few for academics to come together and for academic dis discourse and field development to be the primary focus. So our annual conference, this conference, is first and foremost an academic conference for academics, uh, but we have agreed that it's of course important that practitioners are present um, to represent regulators, NGOs, financial institutions working on these topics and to foster collaboration with those groups. So, of course, they're practitioners at this conference as well, and we'd like to welcome them too. Um, our third largest, uh, our third annual conference, sorry, is our largest conference ever in terms of the, the numbers, the scale of universities represented. Very excited. Please do provide us with feedback after the conference. Um, we do an initial review of each conference at our AGM, which will be later this week. Um, I'm pleased also now to confirm that the next conference will be held in Beijing by the Central University for Finance and Economics together with Tsinghua University and will take place from the 1st to the 3rd of September. Save the date. Uh, so to conclude, our growing community of academic researchers working on sustainable finance needs to be here for the long haul. Um, our alliance has been set up to support this and to encourage a flourishing of impactful and high quality research on sustainable finance. The quality of papers reviewed for this conference suggests there is a continued growth in sustainable finance research and an impressive pipeline of PhD, PhD students who want to build careers here. It's an incredibly exciting time. So much is going on. We have a unique opportunity to develop a, a new academic field and we're forging a community. And I think this is hugely rewarding professionally, but also personally from a social perspective. And it's a pleasure to meet so many people through these conferences. Our sponsors, our main conference sponsor, I really want to thank our, our asset manager sponsor is BNP Paribas Asset Management. Our banking sponsor is UBS. Our data provider sponsor is Fitch Ratings. And I also want to thank our paper prize sponsors, Imperial College London, and also the CFA Institute Financial Analyst Journal. Um, and with that, I wanted to close and thank you all so much for coming. I hope you have a wonderful conference. Thank you for joining. 
On behalf of my colleagues at the Columbia Center on Sustainable Investment, our Distinguished Conference Committee, and the Global Research Alliance for Sustainable Finance and Investment, I'm delighted to welcome you to the third annual Graspi Conference. While we had hoped to welcome you to our campus at Columbia University in New York, we're embracing the opportunity that this online platform has afforded. As of this recording, we have over 1,500 registrants from all over the world representing governments, companies, investors, financial institutions, not-for-profits, foundations, and academia. Thanks to technology, we can still come together in both formal and informal discussions and networking, learning from and with each other, and with a substantially reduced carbon footprint and while staying safe. The coronavirus moved our conference from New York to this online platform, but it has also made the topics that we'll discuss together more urgent than ever. The social and economic reverberations of the COVID crisis have laid bare many of the fundamental deficiencies of our existing economic and financial systems. Globally, we face mass unemployment, financial destabilization, and widening inequality. The health crisis, of course, has not gone away, particularly not in my country, the United States, nor has the dip in fossil fuel consumption in 2020 brought us much closer to averting the impending climate crisis, the effects of which we're already feeling. The COVID crisis has brought the implications of investment policies and practices into even sharper and more critical focus. The response and recovery phases, and more generally achieving the sustainable development goals, will be investment and capital intensive. But the tools and policies that governments use to promote, facilitate, and govern that investment, and the policies and practices of companies, investors, and lenders will be decisive in shaping the impacts of investment for current and future generations. Over the course of the third annual Graspi Conference, a diverse and interdisciplinary community of academics, policymakers, and practitioners will discuss and evaluate the opportunities, tools, successes, and challenges for aligning our financial system with sustainable development. The plenary sessions each shine a spotlight on corporations, governments, and investors, respectively, critically examining their purpose and roles with respect to advancing sustainable development. The final plenary takes stock of progress to finance the energy transition, five years since the adoption of the Paris Climate Agreement, including reflections on whether the vulnerabilities exposed by COVID have provoked new thinking on climate resilience and action. The workshops and panels throughout the week cover a range of themes, from how investors incorporate the sustainable development goals to a focus on the S in ESG, particularly in light of the urgent attention to racial justice, to mechanisms for climate finance. And once again, Graspi uniquely brings you, in our case, four dozen peer-reviewed and selected research papers, advancing cutting-edge research on a variety of interdisciplinary themes related to sustainable finance. These papers will be presented and discussed alongside practitioners and with opportunities for Q&A with our virtual audience, allowing for critical reflection and engagement. The conference platform also provides opportunities for networking, which we hope you'll take advantage of to make us feel as much as possible as if we're together. Let me thank our indispensable partners in putting this conference together. Our fantastic conference committee and our Graspi peers, we have learned so much from working with and alongside these outstanding individuals who have contributed time and ideas to this conference. I'm also incredibly grateful to the financial support of our sponsors, our core sponsors, BNP Paribas, UBS, and Fitch Ratings, um, and the generous financial support from Brown Advisory, the Calvert Institute, the Consulate General of Sweden in New York, the High Meadows Institute, 427, and ISS ESG, and to Imperial College's Center for Climate Finance and Investment and the CFA Institute for their sponsored paper prizes. We've had enriching conversations with each of these companies and organizations about their innovative and critical work in this space, and I hope you'll take the time to learn more about their work over the course of the conference as well. I'd also like to thank our amazing conference organizer, Patricia Ferrari, for her endless patience with me and her expertise in moving this whole conference online. We look forward to meeting you during the networking hours and in discussion at these events. And at any time, we invite you to send us a message if we can enhance your conference experience. Once again, welcome. <laughs>